Hey everybody, back with a uh, mail day. I got six things here. Oh, one's one I'm not even gonna open on camera because it's just uh, some perfect fit sleeves. I just now seen what it was. Some more uh, mag one touch ones. So I don't know. Only one I knew that was delivered here. So we will get into these. Then my PDX fire sale stuff is here. So I don't think that was gonna be here. We'll try to get to that because that's going to be somewhat large and yeah, uh, so well packaged here. I don't know what's, like I said, I know of one card that says it was delivered. Oh, holy crap, that was fast. So yeah, I uh, bought the Brett Favre rookie uh PSA Mint 9, and you guys might be asking why. There's a lot of them out here, and you can get these fairly cheap, and I wasn't going to go for a 10 or nothing like that. This got here super fast. I swear I just bought this like two days ago. And, uh, yeah, but the only reason I bought it was because his name is spelled wrong. It's a pretty, it's not, I don't want to say it's an iconic card, but... It's still pretty cool, and again, I, I'm getting more and more into this. Like, I'm not going to grade stuff, probably. I'm getting more and more into the uh, buying graded cards, at least of the older guys. I still don't have a Brett Favre auto. I mean, someday I'll get it when I uh, go for some quarterback autos, but it's still pretty cool. So this one goes into my Hall of Fame collection, and it is impeccable, and it is on card. He has a beautiful last name, uh, if you guys know me at all, but his name is amazing. I mean, he's probably royalty or something like that, but beautiful card, and I paid $8 shipped for this. $8 shipped to my house, and he shipped it in a bulb mailer, so I paid probably less than 5 bucks total for this card, and that is just insane, but... Awesome auto, 89 uh, receptions in 1980. He was one of the best tight ends like, you probably ever see. I mean, yeah, there's Tony Gonzalez and Antonio Gates of the world, but kind of started with this guy. So pretty excited to have that one as well. And it's impeccable. But I mainly bought it for the last name because, one, I didn't have one. Two, it's a really cool, um, yeah, just cool. So, yeah, thank you. This is like a, oh, this is my, this is here too, see it? Now this is kind of crazy, this came in a bubble mailer. It's just one of those oddball grabs. But it's just the uh, Eddie George Preferred Tin. Nothing special about it, there's no cards inside of it. I almost bought the complete set of these, but I was just like, ah, you know what? I'll just buy the Eddie, just something cool to kind of like display up you know just to have and it had eddie george so yeah it was pretty cool i almost bought them all though because there was a guy selling the set but yeah uh i didn't say it was here and i think this is kind of reminiscent of uh that thing right there i'm trying to somewhat get through this video fast because so i gotta start getting around for uh work i can't wait till the next day to open stuff Again, well packaged, nice little box, bow mailer, and I bought these the same night. Ooh, there goes Brett. Where are you going? Turn around. We'll get back over here. Yeah, there you go. So this is sealed, and I'm going to open this up and see what's inside of it, but it had Eddie George and Tim Brown on it. Same picture, same, uh, I think, same year. I think it's 97, but I am going to open this up and see what's inside. I know some people are like, oh, no. Sealed, but it was really cheap and that tin i paid like two dollars shipped here uh maybe 270 something shipped and that came in a bubble mailer so i don't know if he made any money off that but i will be more than happy to and that's why i was kind of worried that it wasn't even gonna oh so it is still sealed oh yeah i've never really so this is pretty cool i just want to see what's inside i have no patience like I said, it's not like it's worth a lot. I love this tin. That is sweet. So, inside... Oh, yeah, we got Eddie on the back. Maybe he came in every one that he was in. I don't know. So, a pack that's been sitting in here since 1997, I believe. Yes. 
Uh, and these are sticky, sticky. Listen. It's got Andre Risen for the Chiefs. I think you get like a chance of some gold cards or something. I don't know, something like that. Drew Bledsoe, National Treasures. That's what that one looks like. Some die cut. They even had die cuts back then. I thought that was Eddie. Well, oh, there's two cards there. Keyshawn Johnson, that's Jetman, uh, his favorite player as a Jet. I know him. Jamal Anderson, I remember that. I'm going to sneeze. Trying not to. And uh, the bronze, apparently. But yeah, you can supposedly pull like these gold cards. And a really sweet Eddie. So that is a pack fresh Eddie George, which is just sweet. And you can't get more pristine than that, almost. As I try to open these sleeves, I'll get him in a top loader and a perfect fit here since I started separating my Eddies and stuff. But pretty cool card. Maybe he just comes because he's on the box, but I guess Tim Brown's not on there. So that was really cool. I might buy more of those just for fun. But yeah, sorry to delay that, but yeah, it was pretty cool. So yeah, you can search for the precious metals. Awesome stuff. I like that. But then the only thing I got left is uh, my PDX pack ripper fire sale. I've never spent this much in an auction or fire sale. Half of it's basically for my auctions and half of it's for me. Uh, so PDX, man, uh, fast shipping. I think I literally got this like two days ago is when I sent the money. But super fast shipping and coming all the way from Oregon is super crazy. And the shipping on it. Uh, when you, somebody says they're going to take advantage of your $4 shipping no matter what it is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think I took advantage of that quite a bit. Pack of peanuts, air bubbles. Yes, some air bubble, whatever, bubble mailer thing, more. Jesus, you really got damn enough peanuts in here. This thing's packed full, guys. Packed full. Packed full of peanuts. Oh, we're gonna open it. And now I gotta literally move the damn peanuts. Oh, now I'm Rolling over the bubble mailer, the bubble wrap. So here we go. More stacks there. I didn't realize I got this much. More stacks there. I think that's it. So if I'm missing anything, I guess I'll find it later after I dig through this box full. And it looks like I took nothing out of there. So we'll try to go through these somewhat fast here. So again, man, PDX, appreciate it, man. Uh, great, super, super good deals. And I tried watching every single second of it until I had to get around for work. So, yeah, couldn't get it all. So this is Michael Strahan, $2.99. That is game use. That's the only reason I got it. I think I'm going to keep that since it's a Hall of Famer. And this was a, well, part of a lot. You know, McCaffrey game day playoff. Uh, DJ Moore, year one, Rookies of Stars, uh, McCaffrey, two ninety nine from Playbook. I'll go back through all this later. Yeah, this dude was on point, man. Sent everything super fast, well packaged. Michael Thomas rookie patch from Unparalleled out of one ninety nine. Carson Wentz and Wendell Smallwood. I think he said that was at twenty five. Yeah, eight of twenty five. Two color on the small wood, but who knows what's going to happen to Wentz. Luke Falk. I know he's a Dolphin now, and he's been a Dolphin for a while, but this is one of his first cards in a Dolphins Uni. This is not a 99. And for the price he had this, if this guy does anything at all in the NFL, it's going to be a really good card, but who knows. And then this was a, another cheap lot. Hill and Kelsey. Accolades from Playoff. But yeah, I was trying to be, a, I didn't even think about stuff either. I didn't, you know, if I seen the price and it was right, I said sold right away. Big, thick, chunky patch of Carson Wentz out of 50. That was just a nice patch. Cornerstones, Matt Ryan, I think, out of 199, yes. Then another Matt Ryan from Pantheon. That's out of 99. Josh Adams, Prism Auto. Uh, another chunky patch of out of 49, Carson Wentz. From Rookies and Stars. 
lot of patches, but like I said, for the price he had them, there was almost no way I couldn't. Plus, it's good filler stuff for auctions, you know. Uh, McCaffrey from this year, certified out of three ninety nine. McCaffrey from man, I'm gonna sneeze. Uh, out of Obsidian, out of one hundred. Jared Goff, this is a little lot there. Two patches from Playoff and Rookies of Stars, and this was a just a sweet looking card anyway. McCaffrey, DJ Moore, and Cam Newton out of 99. And then a lot of stuff coming up. I know some stuff's going to be for my son, some stuff's going to be for me, some stuff's going to be for my Hall of Fame collection. He's still at school right now, but uh, OJ Howard, that's on card. I think it was like five bucks, which was a no brainer to me. Had a 99. One of my son's favorite players, probably the third favorite behind Winston and Evans. Uh, LT, this is just a, at least a nice colored patch. It wasn't white. It's out of uh, gold standard. It's out of 125. I don't think yeah, that was player worn, but still, still a sweet card. Melvin Ingram, nobody gives him enough love, but really good player. Uh, I think Joey Bosa kind of helps that. But and holy crap, that's on card. I thought that was a sticker. My son's going to love this. I, I didn't show him anything he got yet, so I just told him I got some stuff for him that I'm going to make him pay for it. So that's a really thick, chunky patch of uh, Mike Evans, again, from Impeccable at a 75. OJ Howard, second year player at a, or second year auto at a 99 from this year's E. Uh, maybe it was last year's. Nope, this year's Elite. So yeah, I, he has quite a few uh, OJ Howard autos. Just a Baker, turning pro from playoff. Another Jameis Winston, I think it was a buck for that. For Vita Vea, he's super cheap anyway, but from Impeccable out of 75, and then the Vita Vea out of 149 from Spectra. And the Baker. And here's a couple cards for me. So we got Corey Davis from this year's Absolute, so it's the second year. Uh, Marshall Falk, he said it was game used. Yep, game used at a 25. That's a sweet card. Wish there was more color, but Pantheon's a nice look. It's a clean looking card for the most part. This is from my Hall of Fame collection. Another uh, Dawson. Got this for like 10 bucks, I think. 63. So again, I didn't have him, but he's got to go there. He's got to go in that uh, little box that I got. After I get him in a mag. And then John Riggins from Immaculate at a 49. That is player worn. Tom Mack, never heard of the dude. I Googled him really fast because nobody snagged it up. But he was in the Hall of Fame too. And I know it's a sticker, but so I bought that as well just to add. I knew I probably would never look for a Tom Mack. But with a pile already started, I figured, you know, what the hell? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to snag that up. Thurman Thomas from this year's Classics. It's going to be player worn. Uh, Joe Mixon from Obsidian, a die cut out of 100. Mitch Trubisky, pat, rookie patch from certified last year at a 399. Then Brian Erlacher, I think game used from totally certified. That's out of 249 as well. And that is game worn, so that's pretty cool. And so, like, none of the huge cards, you know, obviously that he pulls were in this fight, some of them, but. You know, it was like he was selling Mahomes autographs or something like that. But this, I think, was the only Mahomes in there. Uh, rivals of Patrick Mahomes and Bradley Chubb to 199. Mark Schlereth, he's not in the Hall of Fame. One, it was a book in 30 of 30. But two, he's one of my favorite commentators on uh, NFL Live and stuff. Like, I don't know, I just like listening to the guy. But So I bought that just because. So that will probably get a mag just because I like them and I can't fit them all in here. Von Miller, that was a two card lot. Maybe it wasn't. And then there's Josh Allen. He had it for super cheap. It's not numbered, but I bought it anyways. And we got a business card here. Which I got like seven of these now. Then AJG 1113 or whatever the numbers are. Uh, didn't listen to me very well. Obviously, I would have bought this card because for the price that he had, it was just, it was 10 bucks, which is just, I bought the one just like this for 14 on eBay plus shipping. So when he, I seen 10, obviously I couldn't even hit sold 
but I had to get around for work, so I didn't get to really see it. And then I already seen AJ's like, yeah, I'm going to buy it and put it in Bobby's pile. Like, I didn't have a pile already, but so AJ, man, appreciate it. I think there might be a, yeah, this one. And then this Warren Moon, Changing Stripes, best teams on the front, the Oilers out of 99. So thanks, AJ. I'll be getting that Earl into a mag, but I actually just tried to buy another one off eBay. Drell Casey out of 99. Obviously, it's a veteran auto, but... I don't know if I have one of his. Maybe if I do, I only have one. Sean Evans out of Absolute. Beautiful auto. I don't even know what the hell he does. But he was our first round pick. So, And again, very cheap. Very, very cheap. But yeah, the Earl was just an absolute steal. But got to get that thing in the mag. Matt Ryan, Calvin Ridley out of 99. Almost a book in. Another Rashawn Evans out of 100. That is 80 of 100. Alan Robinson from Rookies of Stars. You don't see too much of the stuff in Bears so far. This is like, I don't know, I think a lot or something like that. I just said all, but 99, Eddie Goldman, and another Corey Davis. See, I can't remember what I got. Corey Davis, veteran from this year's playbook, and then the Harold Landry from this year's playbook. Not numbered. So another wrong. I added a couple Hall of Famers. My son got some cards. I got some cards. And then a bunch of stuff I can throw up anyway. Anthony Miller, year one, Rookies of Stars. Mitchell Trubisky from Playoff. John Ross, I just like the patch on that. Out of 149 from Certified. And then Jordan Howard, there's a three-color patch out of 49 from Rookies of Stars. And then the Mitchell Trubisky patch out of Playoff, not numbered. So yeah, look at that. That was awesome stuff. So here, I think I separated it all. So I got a lot of uh, PC stuff, obviously, thanks again to AJ for these, which I would have bought them anyway. Corey Davis, I think I have that one. I don't have that one. And then my son got a few cards. I basically bought every buck that wasn't, you know, Carlton Davis or whoever that was. And then Hall of Famers, and then Mark Slareth, that was pretty sweet. But I did get the Tom Mack and Dawson that's hiding back here. So it was a pretty good mail day. Uh, I didn't think I was going to get this stuff till late last week. Um, or next week, I mean. So be ready for an auction next week. I don't know what day for sure. There's only a couple days I can do it. It'd either be Monday or Friday. But uh, it's going to be one of those two days, and it's probably going to be a little mad in there. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be a big one, I feel. Oh, yeah, I also picked this up. I wasn't going to make a one-package mail day for yesterday. Elvin Bethea, uh, excellent mint 6 PSA. I already got it in this perfect sleeve, but, I mean, the corner's a little damaged, but the centering was good, and that's kind of like what bugs me the most is if there's a whole bunch of white on one side. Either way, uh, those aren't cheap. You look at, like, PSA 8s, and those get up there. I got this for, like, 15 bucks, and I thought it looked good enough for me to have. But Elvin Bethea, Hall of Fame oiler, so since I was just laying there. That's all I got, guys. I know, 20 minute video. Sorry, apologize, for, uh, but that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Uh, I think the only thing I got really next week is a bunch of select breaks. Hopefully, I did it do fairly well. I did end up hitting a Titans auto out of three cases that I was in almost. But yeah, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. See you later.